In the Rolex world, there's a handful that not just catch the eye, but catapult you straight into the 1% watch elite. Ever wonder which tickers are doing the heavy lifting this year? Well, you're in for a treat with today's video. We're going to sift through Rolex's hottest hits this year, spotlighting the timepieces that are making waves. Hang tight till the very end to get the lowdown on the Rolex watches that have everyone talking, and let's find out what's got them climbing the popularity charts. Without further ado, let's get into it. Rolex GMT Master Kicking off our rundown of the GMT Master lineup at number 5, we've got the Sprite. Both its Jubilee and Oyster versions are fresh off the press from last year. It's not that folks aren't chasing after the Sprite, it's just a bit of a challenge to snag one. Both styles rock the classic 40mm look, but you'll find the Jubilee variant commands a higher price tag, both to buy and when reselling. What's wild is that back in January it was going for around $26,600, but prices have since taken a dip to about $21,000 to $22,800 for the Jubilee and $20,200 to $21,500 for the Oyster, marking a roughly 20% drop. Hot on the Sprite's heels at number four, we have the Batman model, turning heads with its striking blue and black bezel paired with the Oyster bracelet, giving it that unique edge. Whether you're eyeing the newer or older version, both are hot items, with prices staying pretty stable. From a January high of around $199,000, it's now hovering between $177,700 and $182,300, seeing a modest 5% fall. Claiming the third spot is the GMT Master II Batman, particularly fetching in its Jubilee bracelet edition, often outpacing its Oyster counterpart in sales. Despite its popularity, there's been about a 10% price correction from roughly $20,000 at the year's start to now about $18,700. Then, sliding into second place, the GMT Master II Pepsi with its iconic red and blue bezel is a hot commodity. Both its Jubilee and Oyster versions fly off the shelves. Though the January price wasn't specified, a production cut of 80% hints at its scarcity and high demand. Finally, reigning supreme at the top of the GMT Master Series is the Rolex Root Beer. This beauty, a mix of 18 carat rose gold and stainless steel with a distinctive two-tone bezel, is this year's chart topper, rivaling even the Submariner date in popularity. Despite its hot status, its price saw a slight 1% dip from an early $23,800 to now $22,470. Considering Rolex tags it at $30,000 and it's going for mid $20,000 brand new on the grey market, it's still quite the steal. Rolex Datejust Diving into the Datejust lineup, let's shine a spotlight on the standout Datejust 41. This model really grabs attention with its snazzy fluted bezel and jubilee bracelet setup. You've got a couple of eye-catching dial options here. The cool rhodium, the fresh mint green, and the ever-popular Wimbledon dial. Though there's an option to pair it with an oyster bracelet, it's the jubilee version that seems to win hearts left and right. Now on to the nitty-gritty, the prices. The rhodium dial variant kicked off the year at $11,450, and it's been holding steady since. The mint dial, a crowd pleaser, was fetching between $17,700 and $17,800 back in January. But it's seen a roughly 10% price adjustment, now floating between $15,000 and $15,900. The Wimbledon dial, on the other hand, started at $15,150 in January and has managed to maintain its appeal and value pretty well. Rolex Explorer. Switching gears to the Explorer series, the standout has got to be the Explorer 2 in its striking polar white finish. While the black dial version does have its fans, it seems like the polar white dial is the crowd favorite. Opinions might vary among watch aficionados, but from our perspective, the Explorer 2 boasts a sleek and appealing design. As for its price trajectory, back in January, you could snag one for $12,400, just a tad above its December tag of $12,600, and still a good deal below what you'd pay at retail. 
Rolex Sea Dweller. Now moving into the Sea Dweller lineup, let's not overlook the standout Sea Dweller 43 with its eye-catching red lettering. This piece has really won over the watch community, offering a beefier presence on the wrist compared to the classic Submariner. With its case both wider and deeper, it's not just folks with larger wrists who are drawn to it. It's got a broad appeal across the collector spectrum. Back in January, you were looking at shelling out anywhere from $16,400 to $17,100 for it, surprisingly a bit more affordable than the going rate at the time, which hovered between $15,200 and $15,800. Despite a few fluctuations here and there over the months, landing a Sea Dweller 43 for around $14,100 today still feels like snagging a treasure. Rolex Submariner. Let's shift our attention into the Submariner collection, a fan favorite for sure. Sitting in third place, we've got the eye-catching bluesy. It dazzles with its sunburst blue dial, matching blue bezel and those snazzy steel and yellow gold details. Back in January, it was tagged at $19,700, but guess what? It's now going for between $17,700 and $18,300, which feels like a steal compared to the official Rolex sticker price of $6,650. Climbing up to the second spot, the Submariner without the date function really catches folks' eyes. It's sleek, straightforward, and carries that unmistakable Submariner vibe, evolving beautifully from its initial design back in the 50s. Sadly, no exact figures were thrown out for this one. And now, drumroll for the top dog, the Submariner date. It's been flying off the shelves all year, cementing its place as one of the most sought-after pieces in our lineup. Starting the year at $6,150 to $6,450, it's now listed around $15,200, marking a 10% dip. Despite the slight price drop, laying your hands on this beauty remains a challenge, thanks to its soaring popularity. Rolex Daytona all right, let's dive into the world of the Rolex Daytona, a real heavy hitter in the watch game. Starting off with our bronze medalist, we've got the steel and yellow gold Daytona sporting a white dial. This one's a hit across the board, appealing just as much to the gents as it does to the ladies. Back in January, the black dial version was fetching around $22,700, and it's pretty much held its ground, now going for somewhere between $22,800 and $23,800. The white dial, on the other hand, kicked off the year at $26,600 and has seen a slight dip, now sitting just shy of $25,300, with the newest models touching about $26,600. Prices have been holding steady, showing this model's staying power. Shifting gears to our silver medalist, we're looking at the stainless steel Daytona, available with either a white or black dial. What's fascinating here is the white dial's edge in popularity, especially the Panda Daytona, which has watch enthusiasts buzzing. The black dial was tagged at $35,670 at the start of the year, but has since become a bit more accessible, now ranging between $27,870 and $29,770. The white dial, initially at $39,270, has softened to about $31,670 to $32,950, which spells out some serious savings. Now drumroll please for our gold medal Daytona, the Oysterflex Daytona, shining bright with its top three dials. Kicking off with our third place dial is the legendary Paul Newman, set in an 18 carat yellow gold Oysterflex Daytona. Earlier in the year, the older reference was pulling in about $45,680 to $46,980, and the new kid on the block is now priced in a similar bracket, around $43,080 to $44,350, marking a tidy 10% price trim. Next up, we've got the Pikachu dial, a standout in 18 karat gold. This iconic model held its ground from January's $50,700 to $51,950 price range, proving its solid gold status. And finally, taking the top step on our Daytona podium, we've got the Rolex Ghost. With its sleek, under-the-radar white gold vibe, 
it kicked off the year at $45,680 and impressively hasn't budged an inch in price. Whether you're eyeing an old or new reference, the Ghost continues to be a solid pick within the Oysterflex lineup, sealing its rep as a force to be reckoned with. And there you have it, folks. That's a wrap for today's video. Before you go, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Which of these stunning timepieces caught your eye? Let's chat about it. If you've enjoyed our dive into the luxurious world of watches, why not give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button on Opulent Oasis? That way you won't miss out on any of our exciting updates. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video.